Hey everybody, here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two bottles of water. First up is Ionic Sport Water from Giant Eagle. This has a pH level of 8.0 and this has 330 milligrams of electrolytes inside of it. This is supposed to hydrate athletes. Next up is Al Wadi Rose Water. This is $3.69 from Whole Foods. It's pretty expensive considering how small this bottle is, but what do you expect? It's from Whole Foods, and it's made out of a thick uh, glass. I've reviewed several glass bottles before, but this one feels especially thick glass. And um, yeah, so let's just open them up and start comparing them. I hope this is simple to open. It has kind of a weird looking lid. I guess it's like a metallic lid. I thought I might have to peel this off, but I guess I don't. And I should have said, before I opened it, there was a slight smell of roses, but as soon as I took the lid off, it intensified. Like It's not just a taste of roses. It literally smells like roses. Yeah. it's It smells like there's a rose just sitting in front of me. Um... I've never tasted a rose before, but we're going to right now. It's different. I mean, I don't really like it, and I don't really hate it, but, you know, it's that's different. It's kind of like a, you know, like a zest. I've never said that about a water before. It's like a zesty flavor to it. So, apparently... Rose water is like a Middle Eastern drink, and in Lebanon they drink rose water a lot, apparently. And Al Wadi is like a Middle Eastern and Lebanese food company. There's like there's like an aftertaste of zest to it too. It's kind of interesting. And Al Wadi also sells an orange blossom water. That's interesting. I mean. Yeah, that's interesting. You know, I wouldn't drink this day to day, but it's just a neat thing just to try out. It's, you know, it's different. You know, <laughs> this tastes like rose water, actually because I still have the taste of this in my mouth. <laughs> but I'm assuming this is just standard, you know, regular tasting water. Just the rose water is like overpowering taste. This is vapor distilled water with electrolytes added to it. They add electrolytes, calcium, magnesium, and potassium to this water. And it's bottled in Samford, Connecticut. Um, they sell this at Giant Eagle. They also sell it at, I think, Kroger's. And they even sell it on Amazon. I bought it at Giant Eagle. I don't remember what I paid. But if you buy it on Amazon, it's $36 for a 12-pack of this size. That's pretty expensive. It's, um... You know, almost as expensive per bottle as this. I mean, with this, this is really overpriced, but I kind of understand it, you know, because roses themselves are kind of expensive, aren't they? I don't really buy roses regularly, but there's kind of a cost to them. With this, why is this so expensive? Um, if it's just, you know, just a standard high pH bottle of water. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah. Both of these have no calories. 
no sodium, no um, sugars, no carbs. They're both, you know, just water. But it's kind of impressive that this has no calories when there's such a strong taste in the rose water. <clears throat> like, I, I bet if someone walked in my room right now, they would think there's, like, a bunch of flowers all over the room because it's, like, a pretty strong smell. Yeah, it kind of kind of tastes like a candle, kind of. Like it's like a, like a kind of like a candle taste to it, like a rose flavored candle. When I first saw this on the the shelf in Whole Foods, like this was on a different aisle than the regular water, so I kind of wasn't even sure if this was meant to be consumed or not but I'm I know it is now because there's nutritional information on the back <sighs> no <laughs> maybe this would be good to drink like before a date because <laughs> I, I have a feeling my breath smells like roses now <laughs> You know, maybe, maybe you could skip the mouthwash and just have some rose water. Ugh. Yeah, you can smell it. You put your nose just right by the lid. Here's an unopened one. You can smell it before you even open it. I think this is meant... Like, it's in a, such a small bottle. I think this is meant to be just sipped on. I don't think you're supposed to drink it as quickly as I just did. It kind of stings the throat coming down a, a little bit. Neither of these are very popular. I searched YouTube. Nobody else has done a video about either of these. There are four reviews on Amazon for the Sport Water. Um, one guy gave it one stars. It's supposed to have an 8.0 pH. Somebody on Amazon says they measured it and it only had a 5.0 pH level. The other three reviews are pretty positive. They say it's it's almost perfect. Another person says on Amazon they love the water great tasting, and it helps them feel hydrated and refreshed. Another person on Amazon says it's delicious and hydrating. Um, has nearly the amount of electrolytes as Gatorade, without the sugar and other crap in Gatorade. That is actually kind of interesting. I thought that electrolytes were basically just, like, salts. Um, but this has, it says it has zero sodium, though, so it's kind of interesting that it has electrolytes, but no sodium. For example, Propel. Propel is a water that says it has a lot of electrolytes, but they, in their nutritional info, they, they say they have sodium. And it, Propel tastes like salt. This does not taste like salt. Um, so that's kind of interesting that they're able to get the electrolytes in there without that extra stuff. It's kind of um, kind of a smart water type of bottle. I don't really like or dislike the the design of the bottle. It's you know pretty well matching of like a sports kind of drink. Anyway, in my opinion, the better tasting water is the Sport Water. It's a really generic name, just Sport Water. That's kind of like as generic as it could possibly be, Sport Water. 
Anyway, yeah, the the rose water. It's things going down your throat, and I just don't know. I don't like it that much. It doesn't taste as watery as the sport water. So this one is moving on to the next round. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye bye.